everybody, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to talk to you guys about how to look good in photos. And we all know that in today's day and age, that's golden. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. All right, so my first tip is to look for good lighting. I know that I always say that and everybody probably already knows that, but it is really key because if I look straight outside the window and the natural light is facing me, then everything is well lit and there are no shadows giving me eye bags that I don't want or giving me definition in places that I don't want definition in. The key to good selfies is definitely look for a good light source. Now, I know sometimes when you take group photos, you know, your friend always says, oh, come on, let's take a photo over here because there's a, there's a light bulb. That's wrong because once the light is above you, then that is gonna give you shadows down here and that's gonna give you eye bags. So you always have to face the light directly. So if there is a light, the light source is above you, then you have to sort of look up and make sure that you're not creating any unwanted shadows on your face. That is also why, if you notice, a lot of beauty YouTubers have ring lights because ring lights evenly distribute the light to your face and take out all of the unnecessary or unwanted shadows. Second tip is to always know your angles. Now, if you don't know your angles, that's okay. You can look in the mirror and practice. And I know that sounds really narcissistic and really vain, but it will give you a lifetime worth of great photos if you practice well and that's totally worth it. So look in the mirror, see which angle you like best for your face, practice what poses look good, and every time that somebody asks to have a photo with you, you already know like your default pose and what looks good and what doesn't. Third tip is know your pose as well. So a lot of times when I ask my friends to pose and when I take their photos, I notice that most often than not, they don't know what to do. They feel really awkward, like they're just standing there like, you know, their legs are just apart, their hands are on their sides. It looks very awkward. So again, practice in front of a mirror and see what looks good. What I usually do is have my legs separated. That way I look longer and leaner. And I like to lean back and put the weight on my back leg. That way the leg in front, which is elongated, looks lean and fit, not slouchy. And I just look slimmer and more put together like and um, I'm very short, I'm five feet two inches only. And a lot of people when they see me for the first time always say like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you're so petite, I didn't know you're so short. Because in my photos I look really tall and that's because I know the angles to work my body in and I know how to make myself look taller. I did do a video in the past about how to make yourself look taller, so I'm gonna put a link up in the cards and down below in the description box so you can check that video out. But it's all in the posing and what you wear and how to angle your camera. So, angling your camera. If you wanna look taller in photos, you wanna make sure that the camera is set at a low angle, that way your legs are elongated because whatever is closest to the camera is what will be biggest. So if you put your stomach front in the camera, then your stomach will look the biggest. If you put your legs up front, then your legs will look the longest. If you tilt the camera towards you and you take a selfie, your head will be the biggest over your feet, right? So it just makes sense that way to play with proportions and to know the angles of the camera when you shoot. So when it comes to posing, I know there's a lot to think about and it can be quite intimidating, but I swear that if you keep practicing and if you do it often enough, then it will just be sort of like second nature and it will come to you really, really quickly. Also, in group photos, a lot of the times when we shoot group photos, the people at the sides of the photo will look the widest because wide angle cameras have a little bit of distortion, which means if you're at the sides, you are the ones that will get stretched out. So in group photos, you wanna be in the middle or in the center of the photo, or if you have to be at the sides, make sure you take a step back so that you don't get super stretched out and you don't look like you're the biggest in the bunch. Another tip when taking selfies that I like to do is make sure that my shoulders are down, my neck is stretched long, and I'm looking straight into the camera with my chin down a little bit. That way it like stretches out your double chin area and it hides all this unwanted fat here and it just makes you look longer and leaner. And if you wanna take good photos but you're not quite sure what to do, how to pose, you wanna take a selfie. The thing that I really like doing is to take candid photos. So oftentimes I will ask my photographer, whoever is shooting me to take a bunch of photos in burst mode and I'll just do like a fake laugh, like <laughs> something like that. And in the 10 shots that that person has taken of me, I'm sure one will look good. Or I also like having props with me. For example, if I have a coffee, I'll just fake drink it. 
or um, I like to also look here because that will make my eyes look bigger and you can see like more white in the eye so like that there are a lot of tips and tricks that you can do and the best way is just to look in front of a mirror and practice and see what looks good so just always find ways to make yourself look and feel more confident more toned more elongated and for sure your photos will look instantly better so that is it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want me to do a more comprehensive how to pose video then please leave a comment down below so i can film one for you guys and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.